Good morning everyone. It is 55 minutes before sunrise. Uh, we've got blue skies. We've got a lighthouse up there behind me. Uh, we've got out there, which you almost certainly cannot see, but we've got the sea, which is uh, fairly calm. And I'm going to see what I can do with that combination. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do and you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. Okay, I've set up a fairly simple composition for my first shot. Um, I've chosen to come here nice and early. I was here nearly an hour before sunrise because we've got blue skies again over here. And I quite often find that when you've got blue skies, the blue hour can actually produce more pleasing results, particularly if you've got something with lights on um, than shooting at actual sunrise or, or close in the golden hour. Uh, so my plan for today is to do a blue hour shot of the lighthouse which I've got running at the moment. I've got my camera low down here by this pool of water that's giving me a reflection of the lighthouse, the lighthouse itself and the blue sky. Now I'm going to be almost certainly cropping this at least 8x10. I might even go for a square crop, I don't know. And although I'm exposing it quite bright because I'm actually doing a two minute exposure on this um, what I will probably do in post is then drop that exposure back down again and make it look darker because I think that will look better for a blue hour shot so it's a vertical orientation which gives me that 8 by 10 vertical or square crop option uh, 16 to 35 lens And I think that's 16 mil. I didn't check it before. I don't want to touch the camera because it's still running the exposure. So we'll see what that looks like. So just very quick point on the composition here. The temptation is to move in a lot closer to bring that reflection closer. But if I do that, what I end up with is too big a kind of gap between the lighthouse at the top and the lighthouse at the bottom. It just doesn't look right. Just coming back a little bit further helps the composition, at least in my opinion. When this is finished, I think I'm going to then look at some alternative compositions for a little bit later on. I think I'm done with the lighthouse now. Uh, with clear skies, it's not going to look very interesting for the rest of the morning. So I think I want to find something else. Now the suns are going to be rising over that way. You can already see the sky is a lot brighter over there. And what I'd like to do is maybe do a shot a bit more minimalist, maybe just with some. Uh, now, some of the rock formations and some waves coming in and the problem is the waves aren't all that impressive and if I look at the direction that the sun's going to be rising the rocks are all pointing kind of almost 90 degrees away from the direction of sunrise so I'm not quite sure how to work out a composition because if I have the rocks pointing in the wrong direction and then the sun in the frame, it's not going to look right. 
one of the problems with this time of year and the position of sunrise. In the winter, the sun rises pretty much straight out there and all of these rock formations point straight at it. But here at the, uh, right at the back end of July as we are, they point in the wrong direction. I'll find something. I think my concerns about the position of the sunrise were unwarranted and over optimistic. <laughs> Basically what we've got is quite a thick sort of cloud haze layer over in the direction where the sun is rising pretty much about now. I don't think we're going to see anything of the sun itself. So what I've decided to do is do a shot down here making a feature of these rocks down here, jagged rocks, and the waves kind of come in, uh, breaking in some of the gaps in the rocks. They're not very big, but if I get an exposure time of about half a second, they should look reasonably nice. Okay, we are actually seeing the sun rising. It's quite hazy, but it actually looks pretty nice. Um, what we are getting is a quite a uh, bright sky, and that means I've had to put in a three-stop hard-edged ND grad just to hold that back a little bit. So we've got some nice waves coming in now. Hopefully to create some nice patterns and hopefully put a bit of interest in the uh, foreground as well. Uh, sorry, in the midground. Okay, so the sun is now well up. It's 20 minutes after sunrise. I'm actually quite surprised at how well that sun came through. I really thought it was going to be hidden for at least another 20 minutes, half an hour by that sort of bank of haze and cloud over there. It's a pretty hazy sun, but actually in some ways that's easier because it means I'm not struggling with lens flare. I've taken quite a few shots here um, trying to capture a combination of the sun waves kind of curling over and creating some interesting patterns in the midground and then also trying to capture them at the same time breaking in the foreground and create some texture in between the rocks and I'm hoping I've looked at a few of them and I'm hoping oops I'm hoping that uh, I've got one shot or at least one shot that's got the combination so a nice sun, nice waves in the midground, and some waves breaking in the rocks in the foreground. But if not, I've always got the option to blend them together. And as always, if I blend them, I'll tell you. 
but I think but I think it's probably time now to think about packing up and heading for home the sun is getting quite high um, there's a family turned up over there behind me uh, presumably coming to sunbathe because this is quite a popular sunbathing beach uh, even though it's like hard rock <laughs> people like it at least you don't get sand all over the place I guess anyway that's it I'm gonna pack up and head for home and see what we've got it's been a beautiful morning um, and I'm gonna get home before it gets too hot I hope you enjoyed the video if you have please consider giving it a like sharing it on social media leave me a comment and uh, if you're new here and you enjoyed this don't forget to hit subscribe before you go as always I really appreciate you taking the time to watch so thank you very much and until the next video bye